Hello and welcome. My name is Stefan Czech. I'm a DOP, Steadicam operator and filmmaker from Frankfurt, Germany. My work mainly includes the production of product and image films, as well as music videos and short films with ground and airborne cameras. In addition to training and technical workshops, I also work with various companies to produce technical reviews for web blogs and YouTube. Here I present product related to film production and their application. But in addition to the ever-changing camera technology, as a creative cameraman, you always on the outlook for new interesting approaches to image design. And so I got in touch with different aspects of thermal imaging and was immediately fascinated by it. Because just like image with a macro or fish eye lens, thermography shows us our world from a completely different perspective. In cooperation with Pulsar, I would like to introduce the subject of thermal imaging under the motto Thermography for Filmmakers. The company Pulsar from Lettonia is part of the Yukon Advance Optic Worldwide Groups. It's one of the world's leading manufacturer of digital night and thermal imaging technology for the civilian market. The device I'm using here is the new Helion XP38 and it's one of Pulsar's top models. It's the latest generation thermal imaging device with 640 by 480 pixels and the ability to record still images and video internally. I will come to the technical details later. But before I introduce the creative possibilities, I want to go into the technical and physical details. To understand the difference between the normal the night vision and a thermal camera, let's take a look on the electromagnetic spectrum. On the left side, we see the short wave radiation of less than a nanometer and very high energy. The cosmic and gamma radiation, long wave becomes the X-ray and the ultraviolet light. Only between 400 and 700 nanometers lies the wavelength range of the light visible to the human eye. To the right, Immediately next to the visible red begins the infrared range. Between 700 and 1000 nanometer is the visible range for image intensifier tubes, the so-called night vision devices. Thermal imagers see in a spectrum of 8000 to 14000 nanometers and thus far away from everything that we as human can see. But we can feel it. Therefore, infrared is also called heat radiation. Some snake species like vipers, boas, pythons, here we see a rattlesnake, have heat sensors. A pit-like depression, therefore it calls pit organ, are interspreaded with numerous of nerve endings and register the finest temperature fluctuations. For the warm-blooded prey, it's bad because the snake puts together in her brain a picture that resembles that of a thermal imager. In addition to the aspect of different electromagnetic wavelengths, there's a big difference how the system works. Let's start with a normal camera, just we use it in everyday life. As we say here, there is no direct source of light except the sky. Let's call them emitter, means object that emit light waves. All other light is just reflected. Without this one light source, we wouldn't see anything. In this picture, we see only reflected light. Keep that in mind. Now we see the light source. This is the film light I put behind the actor. But normal wise we didn't look directly into a light emitter. We see almost reflected light. An image intensifier, as the name suggests, amplifies the existing light in a range between 700 and 1000 nanometer by up to 50,000 times. But even here, the existing light is reflected, just the same way as the normal camera do. That means if someone is wearing camouflage clothing, he is not much more visible with the night vision as during the day. However, NVs, which is short for night vision, also see in the invisible infrared range for humans. You can illuminate the environment on a target with flashlights or laser that works in this specific IR waveband. But if you use infrared light, it has its drawback. From a technical point of view, for the military and authorities, you make yourself visible to the opponent, who could also own a night vision. 
and some animals can take the light in the extended IR range and you don't want to light them up with your flashlight. Let's go to the thermal imager. Unlike the camera with a seamless sensor and the night vision, the thermal imager works with an array of thermal sensors, the so-called micro volumeter, the image sensor of the thermal imager. Like many other things, new and exciting technology comes from military development. The US government released the technology in 1992 for civilian use. Another special feature is the special lens for the thermal imaging device. Normal glass is almost impervious to long wave infrared radiation. That's why germanium lenses are installed here. You can see this here very nice. If a subject wears normal glass, it looks like it's a dark sunglass. In contrast to the other two systems, the thermal imager works almost exclusively with the infrared radiation emitted by the object. You have to know that all objects have a temperature above the absolutely zero point from minus 273.15 centigrade emitted infrared radiation. So everything is a light emitter. And so hiding is almost impossible, even with camouflage closing, unless you are hiding behind the tree. If normal cameras show bright, dark and color contrast, there are only temperature difference for the thermal imager. These are display in gray or color values and show a picture from another world. In addition, thermal imager can be used by day and night, using night vision a day without putting a cap on the lens to protect to too much light will cause it to be destroyed. In the second part of this web series, I introduce the technical features of the Pulsar Helion XP38 and explain the different color modes and digital zoom. In the third, I focus on typical use of thermal imaging. I show up the great value not only for the military but also for rescue service and the use in feature films and documentaries. And remember, go out and shoot movies. Your Stefan Czech.